Hey guys and welcome back to Hoosier Hardware. Silicon Lottery has finally released its AMD Ryzen 3000 series of CPUs and for those of you that don't know by the way Silicon Lottery is a website where they gather up a bunch of samples of these CPUs and actually test them themselves and then resell the CPUs as a guaranteed overclock for example we have the Intel processors running up right now that they have on their website and you can buy things like a core i9 9900 KF that's guaranteed to run a 5.1 gigahertz for $850. Now, AMD was always gonna present a little bit of a problem for Silicon Lottery because the AMD Ryzen processors really seem to fit into a very narrow range for all core overclock. So I was interested to see just what Silicon Lottery would be coming with as far as pricing and as far as frequency goes, and it's worse than I could have ever imagined. But before we get into that, I do wanna remind you guys I am giving away this right, oops, Nope, not that Ryzen. This Ryzen 5 3600X, it comes with the stock cooler, the processor, and the red swag bag. And the giveaway ends in just a few days. I can't remember exactly how many days, but if you're watching this video and you haven't entered, the link to enter is down below. Now Silicon Lottery has just announced its AMD CPUs on its website and right now it's completely sold out of all SKUs. So I don't know if that's because they announced them and immediately sold out because they just had a very limited number of them or if it's because maybe they've just posted what they're going to have and haven't actually updated their stock yet. I'm not really sure exactly what's going on there. But if we take a look over here at their lineup, we'll notice some sort of peculiar points. The first one that I notice is that several of these CPUs, these sort of duds is what I would call them, are actually listed at below MSRP. And that's really for a simple reason. It's because these particular processors just don't perform well with all core overclocks and you would actually have much better luck by just taking your chances with the Silicon Lottery and buying your own from Amazon Newegg or any other uh, places that you can get a Ryzen 3000 series chip. So chips like the Ryzen 7 3700X are coming in at $300. We have the Dud 3800Xs over here for $370. And if we even move down to the 3900X, we have one going for $470, which is under MSRP. And then we even have one that's going right at $500, which is right there at MSRP. And those are what I would call Silicon Lottery's duds, the ones that just did not overclock, well, really well at all. But what's catching my eye most about Silicon Lottery's samples here is their highest bin 3900X is running at a guaranteed 4.2 gigahertz, presumably across all cores. And that's really strange to me because almost every reviewer I watched and including my own 3900X have all run above 4.2 gigahertz on all core overclocks when the reviewer actually tried to do that. In fact, a lot of reviewers were getting 4.3 gigahertz across all cores. Now mine is only perfectly stable at 4.25 gigahertz and I could push the voltage up above that 1.3 range and up to maybe 1.35 or even 1.4 if I really wanted to get it to a stable 4.3 gigahertz. But the fact is with these 3900Xs, as those voltages climb, the heat climbs really, really quickly and I'm perfectly happy sacrificing 500 megahertz to gain back a lot of that temperature headroom with my own personal 3900X. So it's really weird to me that the highest bend ones they have here are guaranteed at 4.2 gigahertz. If we click into each one of these SKUs, it also gives us the voltage that these are guaranteed at. And this one is guaranteed at 1.25 volts, which is just slightly less voltage than I'm running in my 3900X at that 4.25 gigahertz. So again, this doesn't look like anything special, at least as far as when I think about a, a golden sample type of a chip, which you would expect to find as the most expensive one from Silicon Lottery. Uh, this is anything but a golden sample in my mind and the price premium that you are paying to get one of these is ridiculous and that's why this title is definitely clickbaity is because I find this utterly ridiculous so I decided you know a title that's utterly ridiculous would also be just as fine so $810 for a chip that's supposed to ship at $500 now right now it's still kind of hard to find 3900 X's they come in and out of stock all the time so check Newegg 
check Amazon, and I'll leave Amazon links to the entire lineup of Ryzen 3000 CPUs in the description down below in case you're curious, but keep checking those websites because you can save yourself a ton of money if you're looking for a 3900X instead of going with the Silicon Lottery route because not only are they all sold out anyways and no telling when they'll actually be back in stock, no telling for that matter if they'll even try to keep them in stock because maybe they look at this lineup and go, there's nothing really in it for us and just never bring them back in stock at all. But paying $300 extra for a chip that's only $500 to begin with is a ridiculous cash grab by Silicon Lottery if they are actually selling them at this price. Now, to be fair to Silicon Lottery, the purpose of the website has never been to pinch pennies. You've always known if you're buying a CPU from them, going into it, that you're gonna be spending an exponential amount of money for each additional tiny bit of performance that you're actually getting. The problem that I have with the AMD Ryzen 3000 lineup that they have posted right now is that you're not buying the cream of the crop, the God tier CPUs like you could get in the past with some of the Intel launches. Like getting a 9900K at 5.1 gigahertz stable at low voltages, that could be really appealing to somebody that wants the absolute best PC they can put together. The problem is their top tier 3900X right now is performing less than mine that I just pulled out of the Silicon Lottery by buying it from Newegg on launch day. And it looks like based on all the other reviews, pretty much everyone's able to get a 4.2 gigahertz and Silicon Lottery is charging a price premium for what I view as a perfectly run of the mill chip and run of the mill sample. So to me, the whole purpose of the website is to avoid the Silicon Lottery and be able to buy exactly the performance you want without necessarily paying an arm and a leg, especially if you're not buying the God tier overclockers. If you're buying one of those sort of mid tier ones, like a 4.1 gigahertz chip, I don't think you should be paying an arm and a leg to get that with a Ryzen 3900X. And it looks like Silicon Lottery just doesn't have any sort of God tier CPU overclockers here with the 3000 series. And yet they're still charging that same price premium you would expect from the Intel ones that are overclocking to 5.1 or 5.2 gigahertz. So that's gonna be the end of my rant, but the whole point of all this is while I do love Silicon Lottery, I do love looking at what overclocks they're getting across the board with the different chips that they have. I hate their value proposition, and really I hate their entire Ryzen 3000 lineup that they have posted right now. Who knows, maybe all that changes and maybe they update it when they get more stock in yet to be seen. Right now they're all sold out so you can't even buy from them, but if they are back in stock at the given prices, at the given voltages and frequencies, do not buy these chips, these Ryzen 3000 series chips from Silicon Lottery. I just don't think that's good value whatsoever from the consumer side of things, but maybe you disagree. If you do, let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on Silicon Lottery, specifically in regards to the Ryzen 3000 series lineup. And of course, if you like the video, give it a like, share, subscribe, comment. All those things are super helpful to the channel. You can follow me both on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.